2017 Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet PDK Automatic. Greater than it looks, and it looks pretty fantastic. Highs and lows. Highs. Astonishing acceleration, delightfully visceral, near silent top operation, timeless styling. Lows. Ubiquitous, thirsty, twice the price of a 718 Boxster S. Specifications. Vehicle type. Rear engine, rear wheel drive, 2 plus 2 passenger, 2 door convertible. Price as tested. $144,805, base price, $119,950. Engine type. Twin turbocharged and intercooled DOE C24 valve flat 6, aluminum block and heads, direct fuel injection. Displacement. 182 CU in, 2,981 cubic centimeters. Power. 420 HP at 6,500 RPM. Torque, 368 LBFT at 1,700 RPM. Transmission. 7-speed dual clutch automatic with manual shifting mode. Dimensions. Wheelbase, 96.5 in. Length, 177.1 in. Width. 71.2 in height, 50.8 in. Passenger volume, 70 CU Ford. Cargo volume, 5 CU Ford. Curb weight, 3,512 pounds. C slash D test results. 0 to 60 miles per hour, 3.2 SEC. 0 to 100 miles per hour, 7.8 SEC. 0 to 130 miles per hour, 13.4 SEC. 0 to 150 miles per hour, 19.0 SEC. Rolling start, 5 to 60 miles per hour, 4.4 SEC. Top gear, 30 to 50 miles per hour, 2.5 SEC. Top gear, 50 to 70 miles per hour, 2.6 SEC. Standing 1 fourth mile, 11.6 SEC at 122 miles per hour. Top speed, drag limited, MFRs claim 189 miles per hour. Braking, 70 to 0 miles per hour, 146 feet. Road holding, 300 foot DIA skid pad, 1 gram. Fuel economy. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 24 slash 22 slash 28 MPG. C slash D observed, 14 MPG. Well, bless their hearts, as they might say around Porsche's U.S. Headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. Porsche officially says the 2017 911 Carrera S Cabriolet with the PDK automatic transmission and the Sport Chrono package can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. But that number is way off. It takes just 3.2 seconds, according to our measurements. So polite Porsche is, feigning modesty like that. Surely Porsche knows that its most powerful rear-wheel drive ragtop 911 ever can out-accelerate many other sub-4-second cars such as the BMW i8, 3.6 seconds, and the Jaguar F-Type R, 3.5. The Germans may or may not have known until now that it could beat the far more powerful and expensive Ferrari California T, 3.3 seconds, but according to our test equipment, it does. All Porsche would say is, our values are on the conservative side of course they are. No one likes a braggart. Feeling the blue. Nor does this lovely sapphire blue metallic Carrera S Cabriolet shout too loudly about its general awesomeness. The only overtly aggressive visuals on our test car were the optional matte black 20 inch R's spider design wheels, $2370, which came wrapped in the same staggered with Pirelli P0 tires, 245-45 up front and 305-30 in back, as the 580 HP Turbo S. Otherwise, 
it looks like pretty much every other Carrera convertible roaming the streets of Los Angeles, where this road test took place. And there are a lot of them here, although none could beat this car in a stoplight drag unless they're late model turbos with a capital T, and even those aren't much quicker. However ubiquitous the 911 may be in L.A. if exclusivity is high on your priorities, there are better ways to spend $145k our cabriolet turned at least a few heads, mostly on account of its striking, glittering blue paint job. While nearly everyone had lots of love for the extra cost, $710, paint color, few seemed to notice the new fascias, the inboard located sport exhaust tailpipes, or the vertical slots in the rear engine cover that denote this as a 991.2 model. One notable exception was the driver of a guard's red, manual equipped 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet and his lovely blonde companion with whom we chatted during a side-by-side -side rush hour slog down Sunset Boulevard yes, it was such the LA moment. He asked if the mid-cycle changes represented true upgrades, and he wondered if the new 420 HP turbocharged 3.0 liter flat 6 engine was as good as the 400 HP naturally aspirated 3.8 liter flat 6 that was making such lovely noises behind him and whether he should go PDK on his next 911. Questions answered. Funny that he of all people should ask, since about four years ago, we tested a Guards Red 2013 991.1 Carrera S Cabriolet with a 7-speed manual transmission that literally could have been his exact car, sans the blonde. In any case, we could sum up our answers to his questions with, yes, yes, and one second we say yes to the first, because the 991.2 refresh for 2017 brought a better realized and Apple CarPlay enabled infotainment system, a 918-inspired steering wheel, and three-dimensional tail lamps, among other items. Another affirmative to his second question, because whether it's the 370 HP Carrera or the 420 HP Carrera S, these new turbo 3.0-liter engines are spectacularly responsive, torquey, and sweet-sounding all the way to their 7400 RPM red lines and one needn't keep them in the loftiest part of the rev range to exploit all their might, making them more tractable in daily use. There also are fuel efficiency benefits of some 12%, according to Porsche, although those can prove elusive in real-world driving. Finally, we'd answer the PDK question with one second, since that's how much time, give or take a tenth, by which this test car bested the 2013 models 0 to 60 mph, 5 to 60 mph, and quarter mile times. The 3.0 liter engine's formidable 420 horsepower and 368 lbft of torque beat the 3.8 liter S4325, with peak torque now available from 1,700 rpm versus 5,600 rpm for the old 3.8 liter. Incidentally, this car's acceleration times are virtually identical to those of a 2017 Carrera Force Coupe we tested recently, which weighed an insignificant 32 pounds less but had the traction advantage of all-wheel drive. As with that car, however, we were not able to get anywhere close to the EPA's 24 mpg combined rating, we managed only 14 mpg during our week in the drop top. Did we mention LA? has a lot of traffic. So the Carrera S Cabriolet is really quick. And with one gram of lateral grip, it really sticks, if not quite as tenaciously as some other Carreras we've tested recently at up to 1.06 GS. Breaking to a halt from 70 miles per hour was accomplished in an eyeball popping 146 feet, right in the middle of the other 991.2 models we've tested. So much for the notion that going roofless necessarily degrades performance. And doing so increases enjoyment of the car's intoxicating oral soundtrack. Lower the roof on a warm evening which can be done at up to 31 mph and you'll hear the flat 6's mechanical symphony in full surround sound. Opting for the dual mode sport exhaust, as on our test car, takes the experience to another level. Top goes down, price goes up. 
The dual mode exhaust was part of a $6,290 Sport package, which also included the Sport Chrono package, Sport design side mirrors, a small diameter GT Sport steering wheel, and four wheel steering to sharpen handling at speed and to ease parking and maneuverability at low velocities. Other options included the $850 lane change assist system, $2,320 power front sport seats with 14-way adjustability, the $3,850 extended leather package, the $3,970 premium package plus, heated and cooled front seats, keyless starting, LED headlamps, auto dimming mirrors, and more. We'd have happily saved $955 by skipping this car's cheesy blue painted interior trim, ditto the $430 rear footwell lighting. We're not sure what it costs to replace a damaged front fascia, but it's likely more than the $2,590 front axle lift system, so that option might be worthwhile. All those upgrades piled on top of the PDK-equipped Carrera S Cabriolet's heady $119,950 base price resulted in a grand total of $144,805. That starting figure is $4,900 grander than the 2016 version and $12,300 more than the coupe, which is a lot of coin for a retractable roof no matter how wonderfully fitted and well insulated it is. Porsche may not like to boast, but it certainly isn't shy with its pricing. That said, this is the quickest rear-drive ragtop Porsche we've ever tested. And in California, where one doesn't have to go far to find a tight canyon road to attack, the sensory enjoyment of top-down driving makes a strong case for a convertible, especially one as visceral as this.